Welcome back to Live With, brought to you by Species Nutrition. Visit speciesnutrition.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is bikini superstar, IFBB Pro, Natasha Coleman. Welcome. How you doing over Thank there? Thank you. Hello, guys. Yeah. We got a little bit of a delay, but we'll, we'll make you? it work. Now, Natasha, you, um, you've had a, quite a run this season. You've had first places, you had second places, you've had third places. You've really been doing your work. A lot of competitors don't want to compete a lot these days. You've done over four shows, about four shows already this year. You won Indy. You were second uh, just uh, two weeks ago. Uh, you, you, you're like, kind of like the new flavor of the month in the bikini division. Um, you've been really <laughs> establishing yourself as someone that's going to be very dangerous come Olympia time. Talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the process, getting to this point in time where you are now. Um, it's, it's been an, an, an interesting ride um, because um, I build muscle very fast. And in bikini, they don't want that kind of muscle, right. per se. So I've had to find where my balance is um, on my particular body. Um, it's been it's been a while to actually kind of get my package together, and I don't think I've actually fine tuned it quite yet. Um, but come time for the Olympia, I think I'm gonna kind of reveal something special, and I'm really excited about it. Now, you have a very athletic look to you. You look like you can get out there and run hurdles and you can, you know, you yeah. could, you could play uh, volleyball, field hockey. You can do anything, it looks like. That, and that's a, that, to yeah. me, is a good look for, this, for the bikini division. Someone who is, looks like they're actually a functional athlete, not just a pretty body. Right, yeah. Um, I, you, um, I ran track in high school. I did shot put in high school. I did field in high school. I was very, very active in sports. I, I think that they're going, they're starting to move more towards this, this athletic look, which I think is better. Because I think when bikini first started, it was, it was little girls who just were cute and kind of had a little bit of abs going on, but not yeah. too much. Now it seems like we're, they're, they're definitely <laughs> yeah. welcoming more muscle. They'd, obviously, they don't want the, the, the level of muscularity you would see in the figure division, but they're definitely accepting of more muscle right. if it looks athletic. Yeah, it does definitely seem that way for sure. And that obviously works to your advantage because that just comes naturally to you. I mean, that's not something you have to work at. You, you, I mean, you go to the gym, you just project, you know, athleticism. Uh, obviously, you know, we're watching you here in your, in your species nutrition shirt. I do want to say that, you know, you're one of our athletes and I'm very proud of you and what you've accomplished this year. So I want to put that out there right off the bat. Thank you. Um, what would you very, say? Very proud. Oh, yeah, no, you, look, you're, you're an excellent representative. Let me just ask you this, though. What do you think that, um, where did, how can bikini, um, the bikini division, get um, a more definitive uh, criteria for what the judges are looking for? Because it seems like from show to show you see different judging uh, of different competitors, and it's not really consistent across the board. Would you like to see a more consistent judging uh, of the division? Oh, for sure. I think everyone would appreciate um, a more consistent look. Um, and, and I think it's it's difficult because there are so many different shapes when it comes to women um, and how their weight is distributed per height. Um, you have women who have very small waists and wide set hips. Um, you have very short women who are very compact short tor torsos versus long torsos, longer legs versus shorter legs. Um, I just, it, everybody has a different look. And I think when it comes to consistency in bikini, I think a lot of us want more consistency, but it's just, it, I feel like it's difficult because some women look good with abs and some women look like figure with abs, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I know exactly. We're watching some video here from the greater Gulf states where the top three, all of you girls looked, you look like sisters, all of you. I mean, you were very well matched up, which I thought was unusual, because usually you don't see a top three that, that, that is that close. Personally, I thought you should have won, but you know, it, it was very <laughs> close, so you can't really complain about it. How did you feel that that competition went, and did you think you know, that you, you deserved the win there? You know, that show was really stacked. I think we all come to 
win, obviously. You know, we don't diet and train and do cardio for second. Um, and anyone who does shouldn't be in the sport. I think we all have a certain level of, of confidence, and I think that all kind of exudes on stage. I definitely feel out of the three, I feel like I was the most balanced, um, but I was also the most soft, if that makes any sense. Uh, Marcia was a little harder. Uh, she has a very tight waist. She's a very good competitor. She's been consistent for this year, for sure. I mean, she's won three consecutive shows right. back to back to back. So, um, you know, I obviously I came to win. I wanted to win, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> now, Just didn't work out that way. Yeah. Now you you oh you know it's interesting the way the bikini division works this year a lot of people don't realize is just winning a show is not enough to qualify you for the Olympia because there's so many bikini events they've made a new point system that obviously if you get a win you get a lot more points than if you get second third fourth or fifth but you still have you know winning one show might not qualify you for the Olympia and that's why a lot of people might want to be wondering why you're doing a lot of these shows um, yeah. obviously now with all the seconds and thirds you have you probably have more than enough points to make it to the Olympia stage. Um, do you like the new system? Um, <laughs> there are pros and cons to it. The pro is you don't get a winner out of a week show that goes to the Olympia and doesn't place. Right. The cons of the system, I feel like um, the points should be a little bit more steep. I also feel like you run the risk of these competitors tiring themselves out before the Olympia and then looking like crap on stage. Right. Uh, or, you know, you, you run the risk of creating, you know, these eating disorders that, you know, some of these females create. Um, and it, it's kind of scary to, to think that, you know, if someone's willing to, to put their health at risk in bikini, for sure, to, to get to the O stage. Why do you think that you're, we're seeing uh, uh, eating disorder behavior? Uh, and, and have you, I mean, have you talked to girls that actually told you that? That, hey, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm binging, or I'm throwing up, or, or anything like that? Um, I don't know anyone who's, who's necessarily throwing up. I shouldn't say that. Um, but, you know, it, it creates this, this body dysmorphia um, almost in, in bikini because, you know, you go from this extreme because you have to be lean, you have to be tight, you have to be small, you know, on stage because, you know, the camera adds 10 to 15 pounds to you or, you know, you're standing next to someone who looks better, leaner, but your body is the criteria mm. for bikini, if right. that makes any sense. Um, and, you know, so we're constantly pushing ourselves to the max and we finally get to the, the Olympia stage, you know, it's the big stage to be on and your body's tired and everyone can see it. Yeah. You know, um, and I, I think trying to figure out a strategy for each person um, individually is something that's very important for people. I don't think that doing 12 shows is smart to try and get into the Olympia. If no. you do 12 shows, you don't need to go to the Olympia. <laughs> well, you're, 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 by the time you get to the Olympia, I know what you're saying. You're, your body just is not responding anymore. And people can say all they want about bikini doesn't yeah. need to be as hard as bodybuilding, but it doesn't matter. If you do, if you do too, many of, too much of anything, too much dieting all year round, your body just is shot by the end of the year. So I, I do yeah. relate to that, I think. Um, but at the same time, you know, I think it's important that you know, we don't have 600 people in, in, the, in the Olympia lineup because it should be yes. the elite of the elite. So how do, you know, how, yes. do you, how do you break it down? How do you, you know, say to yourself, okay, these are the best girls, but the other girls can't come, you know? Yeah, I, I think that, in that sense, the, the point system is great. It, yeah. it narrows it down for sure. Um, I think taking away more shows, and I hate to say this, I hate to say it, <laughs> taking away more shows and making it more difficult yeah. and, you know, making it, you know, making these women fight. I mean, we fight, but it's if you take away half of the shows even from this year, you only have the top people winning. No, but I'm all for it. I think there should only be 10 girls at the Olympia, personally. That's always my, you know, I say with the guys, too. There should be 10 people. That's it. Ten, top 10 in the world go to the Olympias. And that's it. And it would be so much more interesting if you're only judging 10 people, you know. But 
Maybe they should yeah. have a qualifier. I always said that maybe halfway through the year, they should actually hold some kind of a qualifier that you know qualifies you for the Olympia. I don't know. There's got to be a better way to do it. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way because even this year, there's still going to be, what, 32, 36 girls? I know. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. Do, do the bikini competitors, like I see the body goals. We, you know, we go back and forth and on, especially on Instagram, these guys break each other's balls and, you know, they, they, you know, argue with each other and they make fun of each other. Do the bikini girls do that with each other? I don't think so. No? Not, not that I know of. Um, you know, you have your people who are, who want to be who they want to be or whatever, but I don't think we, at least the mature bikini competitors, I don't right. think that we go out of our way to, you know, make a big hoopla. It's just like, oh, that's just who she is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we keep going. Right. You know, it's not, I don't think it's necessary. Right. Um, it Would it make it interesting? Yeah. But I feel like women have a hard enough, you know, right. so why add to it? No. Obviously, having the physique that you have and the, and the great gene athletic genetics, would you ever consider moving up to figure, the figure division, and trying your hat there? Or, or is bikini something that you can you, you really love to do? Figure is very competitive, Dave. Like, I would have to take several years off right. to, to be competitive in figure. <laughs> um, I think figure's good. I think, I think the top women in figure are... Uh, I love Sid, I love Latoya, so they are, um, they, I think they're great representatives of this, of that division for sure. What, what do you weigh on stage and what's your height? Um, this last show I was 115 um, and I'm 5'3 three and 3 quarters. Okay. And what would so you say a, a comparable figure competitor of that height would weigh at this point in time? going into the Olympia or just on stage? Yeah, in the Olympia. Like what? In general. What are those girls weighing? <laughs> How much more? 10 pounds more? 15? I would think, I would think 15 to 20 pounds at least, yeah. So that's a significant sure. amount of muscle more. Um, just because, you know, the, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a thicker amount of muscle, you know? Um, and then depending on the age, in the muscle maturity, I mean, there are a lot of factors that go into it. Right. Of course, the posing plays a huge, you know, part in it. But um, yeah, I would think that they would weigh my off-season weight on stage. <laughs> now, for sure. You work for a law firm now. You have a real job. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Not many yes. people do. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> where do you see yourself, what do you see the future for yourself being in bikini? I mean, where, what would you like to do in bikini and do you see yourself changing professions or, or do you like what you do and does, is bikini kind of like a hobby for you? Um, I mean, obviously, I would like something to come of it for sure. Um, I like reaching out to people, I like helping people, um, especially reach their goals, their body composition goals. Um, I like inspiring people to do better. Um, or at least to make healthier decisions and not like that saving lives or anything um, but I would I would love to be able to travel the world and represent a company and you know just be interactive with with people who kind of want to do the same thing that I do if that makes any sense you did, know did I mean? you have you struggled with eating uh, disordered behavior in the past not eating disorder mm -hmm. per se. Um, I I didn't have a healthy relationship with food. Mm -hmm. um, before I even got into bodybuilding, you know, they they sell you know what was it the the big thing ten years ago the high hydroxy cut was it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I was young, I was dumb, you know, I would pop those pills or whatever and not eat. But then I would drink on the weekends, you know. So it was just. A, very unhealthy <laughs> relationship with food. Um, I, I never had a, a disorder per se, but it was always, you know, eat less, eat less, eat less, and do more cardio. And now it's sort of just flipped um, with this whole, whole bikini competition and, you know, competing and things like that. And I have such a healthier relationship with food. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been great for me, but for some people, it it 
it is a great for them. You yeah. know. No, I know what you're saying the because mental has to be there. <laughs> Sure. I guess I, I know when I was a long distance runner, I had a terrible relationship with food because I would starve myself because I wanted to lose weight because you know you're, you're lighter, you run faster. And when I actually got to bodybuilding, it actually cured it because you're right. Bodybuilding is the opposite. It's like you have to eat five, six times a day, and you can't miss meals. And all of a sudden, I wasn't starved anymore. And so it took the edge off, and I actually and I actually looked better, obviously, when I was eating yeah. the right foods and I was eating more frequently. So. The, the whole competition, you know, bikini figure, whatever you want to call it, the, whatever division you're interested in, really does help eating disorder behavior because it's so structured and you're not really limiting the food you're eating that I think it, it, it actually makes it healthier. Now, obviously, the, the contest dieting can get a little crazy, but the rest of the year, it, yeah. you have to admit, it is a much more healthy way of, of thinking about food. Oh, for sure. Oh, 100%. I, I feel that way. 100%. Yeah. Now you obviously you also use uh, a lot of supplements. You know, you use our whole species nutrition line of products. You you represent us. Uh, how important is it to you to incorporate yes. nutritional supplements and some and protein powders and stuff like that into your regimen? How does that work? Is it is it is it an important add-on for you, or um, do you like to stick to main foods? What, what's your what's your philosophy on that? Um, I obviously I'm gonna want more food. Um, <laughs> but I do, I do take a multi, I do, um, especially when I'm transitioning from off season into my prep, I take, um, lipolyze for sure, mm -hmm. just because it helps kind of curve the hunger a little bit. Sure. Um, and it, it, and it gives me, it gives me just kind of that, that head start, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, I, I take my somalize, it knocks me out, oh my gosh, <laughs> like that, between that, the, the protolize, um, what else is it, fibrolize, yeah. those are my th three go-tos, oh my god, I cannot <laughs> say enough. <laughs> like, it seems like the- Protolize we, saves my prep. We sell, we sell a lot of the pudding, the protolized pudding to women, I would say probably 70% yes. of the people who buy the pudding from us is a women because it's, it's like a little treat you can have and it, and it takes the edge off that sweet tooth you get when you're dieting. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and of sure course does. we know, Natasha, whether you want to admit it or not, all women have trouble pooping, right, when they're dieting? <laughs> so <laughs> so Fiberlize is, is a godsend in that sense, right? <laughs> I love Protolize. No, I think I ruined one of my friend's image of me because I was in his live and... Um, Someone had asked him, like, hey, like, do you take Fiberlize? And, oh, God, this is terrible. <laughs> and <laughs> so, of course, I chimed in. And he hadn't taken it before. I was like, yeah, you know, you get these really silky poos. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's terrible. But, He's like, but stop. It, <laughs> it is true, though. How, you, you know, you're a woman. W women cannot go to the bathroom. I know. I work with a lot of women. A lot of them get constipated. <laughs> the guys do, too. But I'm saying women more so, probably because women's colons are not as strong. And it, it really does help, especially around uh -huh. contest time. The worst thing you want to do is get on stage and you can't go to the bathroom, you know? But, yeah, no, it's the worst feeling ever. It just, it just feels like bloat and it's just gross, yeah. Well, yeah. we're very proud of you, obviously, at Species Nutrition. I also want to just congratulate you on, on, on the win earlier in the year and obviously the trip to the Olympia. We'll be rooting for you over there. And, uh, you know, the, the, the great thing about the bikini division is that it's wide open. And every year they seem to be they seem to judge yeah. it pretty fairly. If you're the best, you seem to do better. It's not like some of these other divisions where it seems like it's impossible to unseat the champ. Yeah. It's um it's gonna be interesting to see because there's so many different women. There's so many gorgeous women in the Olympia this year, um, that qualified last year and that have enough points this year. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how well, good luck up on that stage, and I'll let you get back to work. I know you're uh, you're doing this on your lunch hour, so we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. Yeah. Of course. Thank you for having me, Dave. Absolutely. All right, and that's going to take us to the end of another episode of Live With, brought to you by Species Nutrition. Visit speciesnutrition.com. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time.